Did you know that this country exports sand and camels to the Middle East? Or that it is home to the Great Barrier Reef? Today we're explaining Australia. You won't want to miss the unbelievable facts about Australia's history, people, and geography. Aboriginal people initially inhabited Australia. Dutch navigator Willem Janssoon initially landed on the western coast of Australia, naming the area New Holland. Then English explorer William Dampier arrives in Australia and publishes his journeys in his book A New Voyage Round the World upon returning to England. This encouraged England to pursue further exploration of the area. In 1770, James Cook claimed the eastern part of Australia for Britain, naming it New South Wales. With Britain intent on colonizing the area, it sent mostly convicts to settle in the area in 1788, settling in Sydney Cove. British colonization led to sustained and widespread conflict with the Aboriginal peoples across the region. After that, more colonies were created one by one over the next decades. Tasmania, Western Australia, South Australia, Victoria, and Queensland. Some colonies, like New South Wales and Tasmania, began as places to send convicts from Britain's overcrowded prisons. Others, like Western Australia, were founded as free settlements for people to make money from farming, whaling, and other businesses from the start. As the colonies grew larger with more people moving there, territories broke off to form new colonies of their own, like Queensland separating from New South Wales. In the 1800s, People in the Australian colonies started thinking it would be better if they all joined together as one nation instead of staying as separate colonies. They wanted to have the same laws across the whole country for things like bringing in new people from overseas, taxing items, and national defense and security. Some important events happened that pushed the idea of the colonies becoming one nation. In the 1890s, big meetings were held to discuss and draft a constitution for a united Australia. Finally, in 1901, all six colonies agreed to join together into a new nation called the Commonwealth of Australia. The former colonies now became states, like how the U.S. has different states. But there was also a national federal government in charge of decisions for the whole country. A new capital city, Canberra, was created as the nation's center. Joining into one commonwealth meant the states could share national policies on topics like immigration, trade, taxes, and defense. But the states still had some powers of their own, too. After the Australian colonies united into one nation, some major events tested their newfound unity. Just a few years later, World War I broke out in 1914. Over 400,000 Australian soldiers, including many volunteering from the Australian Imperial Force, were sent to fight against Germany and the Ottoman Empire. Major battles they fought in included Gallipoli in Turkey and the Western Front in France and Belgium. Around 60,000 Australians died during this terrible conflict. Then, about 20 years later, in 1939, World War II began. Once again, the countries of Britain and Germany were the main combatants. As part of the British Empire, Australia quickly entered the war to support Britain. Over one million Australian men and women served in World War II across many parts of Europe, the Mediterranean, and the Pacific. Australia's roles in these two world wars showed their commitment and sacrifice in supporting Britain at the time. But it also marked important steps in Australia developing its own independent military force and national identity apart from Britain. Even though Australia became one united nation in 1901, it was still considered part of the British Empire for many years after that. However, several important events happened over time that led to Australia becoming a fully independent country. The biggest year for Australian independence was 1949. In that year, a new national parliament was elected solely by the Australian people. 
an Australian citizenship was created, replacing the old British nationality. The issue of any remaining British government over Australia was officially ended by passing the Nationality and Citizenship Act. Finally, in 1986, Australia fully achieved constitutional independence by passing the Australia Act. This eliminated any remaining constitutional ties to the British legal system. In 1999, Australia even held a referendum on whether to become a republic and sever all remaining constitutional bonds to the British monarchy, though this was narrowly rejected. Today, Australia is a prosperous and highly developed nation. With a population of over 25 million people, it is one of the most ethnically diverse countries in the world due to its immigration policies. Major cities like Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane drive a strong economy focused on sectors like services, mining, manufacturing and agriculture. The Australian national flag has three main symbols, the Union Jack, the Commonwealth Star and the Southern Cross constellation of stars. Each part represents an important piece of Australia's history and identity. The Union Jack in the top left corner comes from the flag of Britain. It reminds us that Australia used to be a colony ruled by Britain a long time ago. In the middle, there is the Commonwealth Star with seven points. This stands for the six original states that came together to form Australia as one nation. The seventh point represents Australia's territories. But the most iconic part of the Australian flag is the Southern Cross constellation of stars on the right side. The Southern Cross is a group of five bright stars that form a cross shape in the night sky over the Southern Hemisphere. Early British sailors used these stars to navigate and find their way to Australia on long sea voyages. Australia is a vast country with an area of approximately 7 million 692,000 square kilometers or 2,969,000 square miles. Its only land border is with Papua New Guinea across the Torres Strait, but Australia is also close to other nearby neighbors such as Indonesia, East Timor, and New Zealand across the surrounding seas. The capital of Australia is Canberra, and the country's major cities include Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, and Adelaide. Australia is a land of incredible natural wonders and biodiversity. This isolated continent has undergone millions of years of evolutionary journey, giving rise to an array of plant and animal species found nowhere else on Earth. Let's explore some of Australia's most remarkable and unique fauna and flora. Kangaroos and wallabies are iconic marsupial mammals with over 60 species calling Australia home. The kangaroo is a national animal known for its powerful hind legs and ability to cover vast distances. The platypus is one of the world's most bizarre creatures, a semi-aquatic egg-laying mammal that exhibits a unique blend of mammalian and reptilian features. It is found exclusively in Eastern Australia in freshwater rivers and streams. Another fascinating Australian animal is the thorny devil, a lizard camouflaged with a spiky appearance to deter predators that get moisture from dew gathered on their skin and live in the deserts of Western and Central Australia. When it comes to flora, Australia is home to over 700 eucalyptus species, commonly known as gum trees. These iconic and widespread trees across the continent are adapted to harsh Australian conditions, with some species among the tallest trees in the world. The banksia is another unique Australian plant, with over 170 species exhibiting incredible diversity in form and color. Finally, the Sturts Desert Pea is an iconic Australian wildflower found in arid inland areas, featuring vibrant red flowers contrasted against grey-green foliage. It is South Australia's floral emblem, symbolic of the outback's rugged beauty. 
Australia experiences a wide range of climates depending on the region. In the northern parts of the country, the climate is tropical, with hot and humid summers. Temperatures in this region can range from 24 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees Celsius or 75 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. In the southern areas, the climate is temperate, which means winters are mild and rainy, while summers are hot and dry. Temperatures in this region can range from 10 degrees Celsius to 25 degrees Celsius or 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. In the interior of Australia, the climate is arid or semi-arid with hot summers and cool winters. Temperatures in this area can range from 15 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius or 59 degrees Fahrenheit to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Australia has a population of approximately 26,461,166 as of 2023, making it the 54th most populous country in the world. The people of Australia are known as Australians, and they have a diverse range of ethnic backgrounds. The largest ethnic groups include English at 33%, followed by Australian, Irish, Scottish, Chinese, Italian, German, Indian, and Australian Aboriginal. In addition, there are also smaller populations of Greek and unspecified ancestries. When it comes to languages, English is the most commonly spoken at home at 72%, followed by smaller percentages of Mandarin, Arabic, Vietnamese, and Cantonese. In terms of religion, Australia has a mix of beliefs, with Roman Catholicism being the largest at 20%. Protestant groups account for 18.1%, while other Christian denominations represent 3.5%. There are also notable populations of Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, and Orthodox Christians. Additionally, 38.4% of the population identify as having no religion. These are some of the most famous and celebrated Aussies who have made their mark on the world stage across various fields. One of Australia's most beloved actors is Hugh Jackman, known for his role as Wolverine in the X-Men movie franchise. He has won numerous awards, including a Grammy and a Tony for his work on stage. Jackman is also a successful producer and philanthropist and was named Australian of the Year in 2022. The legendary crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin, introduced the world to Australia's unique wildlife. He built a legacy of conservation efforts and education through his TV shows and documentaries. Tragically, Irwin passed away in 2006, but his influence and love for nature continued to inspire. Margot Robbie is a stunning actress who has taken Hollywood by storm with her breakthrough role in The Wolf of Wall Street. She has starred in major films like Suicide Squad, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, and Babylon. Robbie is known for her versatility and ability to embody complex characters. Kylie Minogue, the Princess of Pop, rose to fame in the 80s with her role on the Australian Soap Neighbors. She has released 15 studio albums and sold over 80 million records worldwide. Minogue is an iconic figure in both music and fashion with a devoted fan base. These are just a few of the many talented and influential Australians who have left an indelible mark on the world. From the big screen to the music charts, and even in the realm of wildlife conservation, these individuals have showcased the unique spirit and passion that Australia is renowned for. They continue to inspire and entertain audiences globally, serving as proud ambassadors for their nation's rich cultural heritage. Australia has transformed from a harsh frontier initially inhabited by Aboriginal peoples and later settled as a British penal colony to a prosperous multicultural nation celebrated for its natural wonders, unique wildlife, and globally influential people while still honoring its indigenous heritage. If you enjoyed this video on Australia, you'll love this next one.